Hiya! Here are some tips for naming your baby that will ensure that kind of hatred and self-loathing starts from a really early age and you can foster that horrible relationship right from birth. This season's hot letters are X, Z and Q, so make sure you include as many of them as possible. Why not memorialise a dead pet by naming your child after them? It's very cool to have rhyming first and last name, so if your surname is Want, think of Grant, or if your surname is Cillium, it has to be William. To save time and be more efficient when filling in forms, consider giving your child the same first and last name. There's nothing quite as distinctive as a Smith Smith or a Jones Jones. If you're stuck for inspiration, why not use your favourite plant? Mineral or item of clothing? Yes, have you met my daughter? Bismuth? Irregular verbs are very in right now. Try and aim for a name that will give the highest possible Scrabble score. If you're a wizard, make sure you name your children after dead friends or relatives. Nothing tells your youngest child you love them, like naming them after a man who routinely abused you for seven years because he was in love with your dead mum, and naming them after a, probably the most problematic teacher you ever had, who still, because he was your father figure, you glorified even though he essentially raised you up to be slaughtered as a sacrificial lamb. If you're short on cash, name your child as the perfect opportunity to gain corporate sponsorship. Names like Pepsi and Vimto really let those companies know that you love them and would do anything. An alternative money-making strategy is to name your child after a wealthy relative so that when they die, they'll remember them in their will. Of course, to hurry things along, you can always murder the relative. A lot of people like to name children after popular fictional characters or celebrities, which means that by the time we grow up, the schools will be crammed with Benedicts and Hermiones. To beat this trend, make sure you go for those lesser-known but still beloved characters like Peeves, Donkey Kong or Renesmee. That's all the advice I have for you today, but remember, when naming a child, follow your heart and they'll have to live with this for many years to come, so make sure it's as awful as you absolutely can. This is wobbly as fuck. Wobbly wobbly.